So hello, hello everyone and in this video I am going to show you how to install a Xilinx ISC software in your PC and to run that in your computer and to write the Verilog codes for different systems that you want to design. So before going to that, first you have, you have to know that how to install Xilinx ISC software for that type in the Google that Xilinx Xilinx ISC download you can click on this so that you will be directed to this page and then click on download Xilinx so that the net is a bit slow sorry for that click on download Xilinx and here you will be directed to this page that is Xilinx and uh, now you can see that here 14.7 Windows 10 and 14.7 you click on 14.7 so that now you scroll down like this so you can see different important information ISC design suite 14.7 full product installation etc so that now here, here these two are the important things that we have to notice that the full installer for Linux that is for if you want to download for the Linux or then you have to download this of size 6.09 GB and for Windows or uh, Windows 7 XP server then you have to install this that is 6.18 GB you have to click on download this and this will take a bit time so as the size is very large so I have already installed that in my PC so now I am not going to install it again so that now I will go I will open the Xilinx software how it will look like and in this video I will explain what are the types that you have to fill before directly writing the Verilog code and the basic keywords that are useful in the uh, Xilinx software while coding. Now I am going to explain all that for you in this video in the remaining time that is left. So you will be asked with this and you will uh, after clicking on Xilinx ISE and uh, the installation will be same as like installing an Android app in your mobile phone. You have to click next next and you have to finally say finish and uh, you go to file and uh, click on new project so that you will, you will be asked that on new project widget you have see if you observe that enter a name and location of the project. Now here you can enter any name. And uh, as do you want to rewrite? Yes. Now you have to select this file, these categories in the project widget that the product category should be all and the Spartan 3 board. We are going to dump our Verilog code into the Spartan 3 board. So I have to select Spartan 3. Now the device is XC3S200 and the package will be FT256 and the speed will be minus 4. The speed grade will be minus 4 and the synthesis tool is XST and the simulator is ISC simulator. And the preferred language is Verilog. We are going to write all the codes in the Xilinx in the Verilog here in this series of videos. Now next you have to click on enable enhanced design summary and you have to click on next. And you have to click on next until you observe a finish. And then you will be asked with this type of window. Now you have to add a source since it is uh, not already there in this PC so I have to create a new source so that I have to write the code and in this set of options you have to select a Verilog module since we are going to write the code in Verilog language only and Verilog text fixture refers to the test bench that we have to write and by selecting Verilog text fixture and here we have seen the test bench waveform by this also we can give different test inputs for the circuit that you are designed now here I am going to write something Mm, and uh, you have to click on the add project to add this to the new project or um, the project wizard window now here you can place the input values or output values or in out values or you can directly write in the module or in the code section or you, have, you can directly write there or let me show you an example that if I write input A and here uh, output uh, I will make this output B then if you click on next you can uh, see that uh, I have already got these two I am going to zoom that for you you can see that here I already got uh, input A and output B here 
but uh, I can also add uh, uh, different variables if I want and I can write that input C uh, it doesn't matter really you can write here or there but writing there if you know the pre pre setup that what are the inputs and what are the outputs then it is efficient that you cannot you need not to type all this and and some keywords if you clearly observe the module and the input output the colors are blue so that in this you can uh, say if you type any keyword and if the color is not highlighted for example if I type in instead of input if I instead of T if I place G then the color is not changed you can clearly see that and there are some more keywords like case and um, and case or uh, dollar time dollar finish dollar monitor so these are all the keywords that you deal while uh, writing code in the very log and there are some uh, constructs like assign b assign so by using this all you can see that by using this blue color and uh, you can say that um, the keyword that you entered is correct or not and here you can see that module is there which means that in the very long uh, design we are we break the huge lump circuit into small small blocks that where each individual block can be called as a module and you are going to write the code for each individual block so you keep module in the beginning and you have to end that what you wrote so it is called as end module at the end so that's all for this video and um, I think you all guys learned how to install the Xilinx software in your PC and in the course of these lectures we are going to deal with a very low code for all uh, digital circuits that we have studied till now in your academics and uh, from small experiments we are going to start and we are going to end with the real life situations. Thank you for watching and that's all for this video.